Conacher is a junior oil company. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in the oil sense, we have two SAG-D facilities. So we inject steam into the ground 500 meters down and we extract the oil and we sell the oil and we clean up the water to make it into steam again to go back down to the wells. I think Conacher uh, as a business uh, and its asset base kind of represents the long-term uh, direction of where oil sands is going to go. Not a lot of uh, companies have gone as far as Conacher has gone and seen the results. Conacher is unique. Every barrel that we produce is moved on a truck. Um, we are not pipeline connected and that means that we're very nimble. Um, it, it, we're very flexible with where we place those barrels and we have a lot of options. Uh, so my job is to ensure that our barrels are always placed at the right locations for the right price, um, to source out uh, additional markets and to optimize current markets, uh, and to really focus on the whole supply chain. The best way to describe it is that for us to be more efficient, for us to be more profitable, is almost always better for the environment. We have to take responsibility for, for where we're at and we have to make, make good on our promises to get better. Lots of things that Conacher does here that, uh, uh, you know, innovation, uh, evaporator technology is one of them. We're 98% recycle. We make up 2% water in this, in, this, in this facility here. We have some of the highest recycle rates in the industry and certainly uh, the, the top performing uh, equipment on surface. Um, in terms of underground, you know, we, we had the first uh, ultra high temperature pump ever installed uh, in the industry. We're moving uh, our solvent process, SAG-D Plus, along quite nicely. So we're doing a lot of new and interesting things because we need to do that to survive in this industry. This is a, a tough business and we always need to be one step ahead. We've kind of turned the page. Um, we have an executive team that's committed. Um, people are working on projects that are longer than six months, multiple year projects. We have capital. Um, so it's, it is a company that's growing organically and I'm trying to be opportunistic. It's exciting because we're on the bottom floor. I mean, my operation guys and maintenance guys, they're involved. The amount of new people we've added in 2013 was surprising. A lot of great, great people being added. And this is all to support what Conacher is turning into. And it's a company that's growing. So it is a different dynamics. We're more self-sufficient. In any business, it's important to be able to say, where do you want to be uh, in the next 12, 24, 36 months, and what can you be? And you can't do that without a plan. And it's not more complicated than ensuring we have a sound structure, communicating what we're going to do, delivering on that, and repeating it. I think our job in the near term is to show that it is time for Conacher to grow and there is a platform there and we have put forward a plan for the near term and then we have a long term plan. We've made a concerted effort, one example is to go out and meet our, our stakeholders. Good feedback on that is kind of saying, hey, really appreciate that you come and, 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 and talk to us. You know what, we're still here and we're doing well. I think people have recognized we are not going anywhere. We're here to stay and watch out because we have a lot to offer.